Hello everybody, we are here at uh, CRT 2014 in uh, Venice at Dlarlal Italy booth and we have the pleasure to share this booth together with Manuela Gunnar uh, from Akai, uh, Germany. Uh, Manuela, please, could you share with us uh, some information about uh, uh, the company you work for? Yes, sure. Yui, thanks for the kind invitation. So let me shortly introduce myself. I'm Manuela Gutner, product manager for Slang Simulation in the company of Akai. What does our company stand for? So translated, it means quality applied to anesthesia and intensive care. And what is our aim? So our aim is to do simulation as realistic as possible and thus implement features to the simulation as for example, the test chest, the lung simulator is a sophisticated one. And also we have developed an, a simulation interface software running not only physiological models, but also pharmacological ones and hemodynamic ones. And thus we have the possibility to, for example, monitor PICO. And we also have, the, have a tool to make a readout of IV pumps and thus running TIVA TCI and uh, then measuring the best value. And we also have a label printer and thus we can do blood gas analysis in situ during our simulation. Manuela, excuse me, do we have here together with us the test chest simulator? Yes, exactly. That's the test chest, a sophisticated lung simulator manufactured in Switzerland. And the test chest can either be used standalone or it can be combined with an intubation head, such as the Lehrer Airway Management Trainer, or we can combine it with a full-scale monogram, for example, with a 3G or the whole 3G family. And I would love to show you more details if you have some time. May I introduce our artificial patient, the Simon 3G. So at the moment, he's awake. He's breathing spontaneously. You feel the air coming out of the tube. You see his eyes blinking. And he's also able to trigger a ventilator. So you see his spontaneous breathing activity. And now we would like to sedate him. I would like to show you some patient data. So his age is 40 with normal size and normal weight. And now we're administering him some propofol. So let's do some typical anesthesia using some fentanyl. And also using some induction agent. Of course, you can also use the drug recognition system of the CG. And let's see his reaction. So at the moment, his vital parameters are pretty normal, but he already gets tired closing his eyes. And you will see the reaction on the vital parameters with a drop of the heart rate, with a drop of the arterial blood pressure due to the drugs. But of course, the breathing is affected as well. So let's watch. The tidal volume is decreased and also his spontaneous breathing rate will drop. You already see this breathing is not triggered anymore. His own breathing activity is dropping down. And now he will be fully controlled by the ventilator. And now you can switch to any ventilation mode you prefer. For example, going just to a pressure controlled mode and you will see pretty normal curves as he's a healthy young man. But of course, you can also add some diseases. For example, we can simply add some bronchospasm, making some occlusion. And let's check the time constant for expiration. You see, he needs more time for exhalation. And you see, he's not able to get rid of the air at the end of expiration, so we will have some intrinsic peep. 
but of course now we can reduce the rate, giving him more time and thus optimize our ventilation. Of course you can use all kind of pre-configured patients with the system. And you can also use a dynamic change of the test chest over time using our learning modules. With having all kind of different scenarios inside. So you can use the learning modules with different kind of scenarios and different diseases.